what are some of the priorities? What are some of the things that CMIOs are focused in on right now? And what, what are some of those things that you think are critical that CMIOs should be focused in on? I think there are some big regulatory changes coming down the pike that I think are going to blindside many CMIOs because of, through no fault of their own, they were dealing with COVID for six months. And now all of a sudden, we're looking right in the eye of some big regulatory changes. Top of mind for me is information blocking related to the 21st Century Cures Act. That's one component, which theoretically goes into effect November 2nd. And in some ways, that is no big deal. It's just some changes on your release rules. But I think it's a really big deal, I suspect, because one, it's how you interpret the laws and the exceptions. So there's seven, I think, exceptions. And it'd be interesting to see people, organizations interpret it. And so you probably need to get legal and compliance and whoever involved. And then there's going to be a change management component. So if our patients are now getting our notes, our labs, radiology, pathology, the way to handle that is to have the, what I used to say when we first did release is have a different conversation in the exam room. So not only does everyone need to be familiar with it, so even the nurse needs to know the patient's going to get these results and then say, hey, your results are going to come back as soon as they're finalized. If you don't want to see them before talking to the doctor, wait for the doctor to call. Like That's a reasonable plan. So one, there's, I think, a significant education and change management. So there's interpretation. There's configuration, which I think is the least of it. And then there's probably a lot of education and change management. The, and then other, you, I, yeah, the other area? The other thing that's top of mind is that as of January 2021, B&M codes change. And they have a significant impact. You can make them have a, I think they should have a much bigger impact than you, you can get by with just teaching people. But in reality, now all of a sudden, the... E&M codes are not based on history and fiscal. They're either based on time or they're based on the number of problems addressed, amount of data reviewed, and risks and complications. Well, that's a, that's a huge benefit to the physician, isn't it? Oh, it's a huge benefit. But all those notes you created that blow all the information in, do you really want to still use them? So this is really an opportunity to rethink all the templates and to put the right information and oh, by the way, this is related to what we talked about information blocking because the notes are going to the patient. So do you really want a horribly bloated note to go to a patient that really doesn't communicate? It's hard to figure out. So this is really an opportunity to reconfigure notes, which is a heavy lift. And then the other part goes back to we were talking about education. So many people use all the things that blow into the note as their way of reviewing it. So I look at the patient's meds. I look at their medical problems because it's all blown into the note. They don't need to be blown into the note, but now the doc needs to know how to efficiently and effectively review that information. 